Hello everybody. Today I have something a little bit different for you guys. Um, I was recently given the opportunity to test a metal detecting trowel. I'll throw up a picture of that right here so you can see that by a company. Um, and I really like it. It's super lightweight. Um, it's very nice. Handle could be a little bit longer because my I don't have big hands, but my hand just feels like it's going to slide down on it. It could be a little bit longer that way. But uh, for the cost of this thing, it is absolutely fantastic. Um, the company reached out to me again today and said, we have something else we'd like to know if you'd be interested in checking out. Uh, we'll send you one to take a look at it. And if you're if you like it, great. If not, tell us how much it sucks or where it sucks. And... Um, That'll help us make our product a little bit better. So today, I have a brown box. Guys, you gotta work on your packaging. This isn't the most exciting thing out there. But I'll show you the picture of the uh, page on Amazon so you can see how it's listed and uh, what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's called the Full Lit 38 inch Folding Shovel survival camping shovel, multifunctional entrenching tool, portable military shovel with carrying bag for camping, off-road, car emergency, and outdoor. That's a heck of a title, isn't it? <laughs> you gotta admit, with something with a title that long, it better be good. So, let's take a look at what we've got here and see if it is indeed any good. Let's open up this box and take a look. Oh, cool, they do have a carrying bag for it. The product specifications right here. This is a bit unique because it's one of those shovels that, as you can see, it comes apart because obviously it's, it's very apart right now. And it has multiple sizes. It can go from a little bitty shovel about 15.3 inches long all the way up to 38 and a half. So let's get this sucker out of the bag here. Oh, it has a carrying handle too. This would be really, I mean, this is, it feels heavy. Uh, this would be nice to throw in a backpack when you're out camping and stuff. That way you've got something nice and condensed. Take a look in the bag. That's what we look. So far, you know, that's looking pretty good. Make sure there's not any pouches on this I'm missing. Let's pull this sucker out. Oh, it's got little separate... Oh, I thought it had separate compartments. I think it kind of sort of does. Yeah, it does. It does have little separate compartments for everything. That's pretty cool. So, let's take it all out and take a look. Because there is a ton of stuff that goes with this thing. Uh, and even your shovel is covered. Check that out. Nice little thing here. This is heavy duty stuff too. This feels really nice. So what you've got is a shovel, three sections, and two doodads. Obviously since this one has the lanyard, this is the other end. You can use this just by itself. It has a tip here that is your um, glass break thing like a safety hammer so that you can smash out windows and things. You've got uh, this looks like a fire starter. Yep, that is uh, probably like a magnesium fire starter. And I do believe this comes out. Yep, it does. And look at that. It's a whistle. Ooh, it's a pretty good whistle too. <laughs> nice. So just the tip of the handle, and we've already got three things that we can use. And this is heavy. I bet if you're out in the woods and you needed to like smash some stuff up, that would work really good for it too. This little piece right here is a knife. Ooh, and it comes actually pretty sharp. I don't think it's sharp enough to shave. No, it's not. But for a survival knife, you don't want that edge to be too sharp. Um, is then you can like get yourself into trouble um, and the blade dulls pretty easily 
And that, I think, fits into one of these sections here. And I don't know which one. Maybe it just slides right down in one. We'll check it out. So, anyways, here's the shovel piece. There's these little tabs here. I already remember from reading the directions because I actually read. Push the little tabs, and this will lock in any position that you want it. Uh, okay, I didn't read that. I gotta undo the Velcro. Check this out. Oh, and it's protective for shipping. This has probably got uh, like finishing oils and stuff on it. Yeah, it does. You can see finishing oils. So I'm just gonna leave that on there. Oh no, I'm not. Check this out. Okay, let me stop the video right here. We're gonna go wipe all the oils off because it's not shipping anymore and sitting on a shelf. And um, they, then I can show you all this cool stuff that's on it. Okay, we are back. And uh, that thing is nice, isn't it? Look at that. The angle adjustment is really nice. I mean, if I just want to get out in the woods with a little mini shovel, I can just presumably screw this in. Or maybe that, that piece doesn't fit in there. I think I probably got to use like one of these sections and they all have this little lock piece. Oh yeah, okay, that's what I got to do. Check that. This locks it in. It's a quick, look at the threads on it. It's a quick thread so that you only have to turn it a little, a couple of times and it locks in with this. This keeps it from turning back out. So once it's in, you can't turn it out unless you do this. And then it's that easy to get off. That is sweet. I like that. I wonder if this goes in there. No, I don't think so. Ooh. So this doesn't have that quick connect end here. So obviously I can't put this in here. So which end does this go on? Oh, that one right there, I think, is the threaded end. So this would go right in there. Yeah, and it's also the only one that doesn't have the little detents here for these pieces. So if that's easy to figure out, who needs directions, right? So we got that. But let's get back to the shovel head. This is sweet. Look at this. You've got, this is a bottle opener, because, you know, you're going to be camping. If you're not in a survival situation, you're going to have some beer. Or this looks like you can also use it to open the old style cans. And since you've got something to pry on here with a nice large handle, and there's one on, there's two different styles. Maybe this is a bottle opener and this is a can opener. Um, It doesn't really say when I look on the instructions, um, so I guess you could use whichever one works. This would be a nail puller. You put your nail head in here, slide it down until it grips, and then just lift up so that could come in real handy if you're in a survival area and you find an old piece of wood with some nails. Those nails could come in real handy. And this is actually a hex wrench. This looks like it's probably going to be uh, somewhere on the order of a 5 8 right here, a half inch, 7 16 and 1 quarter. See? So you could set that right on top of a bolt and turn it off that way. This, man, this edge right here, you got to be careful with this sucker. This is sharp. Um, you've got a, a saw right here built into the side. So, as you're out in the woods, you can saw through a piece of wood. Oh, this is sharp. This is sharper than the knife blade. Oh my gosh. You got to be careful taking this thing out. This is an axe or hatchet. So, I could take this um you know, use it, it, it depending on how long I need to have a handle on it. I could put me a handle on it and I've got a shovel just uh, this two pieces here is 25 inches long. 
or if I need to work the ground, you know, maybe make a vegetable patch or something, I do this, I got myself a hoe. Um, if I need to, you know, get up and really work the ground, I can add the other two pieces here. And if I add the third piece, I'm up there 31.88 inches. And then the fourth piece, 38 and a half. So, that easy. And I think this probably, yeah, that'll slide right down in any of these sections here. So if I put it down in that top one, I've got my knife edge in there too. So this is kind of cute. Oh, look. Oh, check that out. Here's what I was missing. These ends right here. <laughs> Threaded to hold the knife. So no matter what section I have it in, if I've got my end here, I've got my knife. If I put this one on, got my knife. Want to add in the other piece for the full length? Got my knife. Nice, isn't it? Holy cow, I didn't think this thing was going to be this nice, but this is sweet, I tell you what. Um, so... Man, this thing has a ton of stuff. We've got uh, axe or knife. We've got the saw. We've got the bottle opener type stuff here, bottle opener and can opener. We've got the nail puller. We've got it in the hoe configuration. You know, whatever angle we need to adjust it to. Regular shovel. Uh, we've got our hex wrench. We've got our knife, our tip here uh, for breaking glass. Our fire starter and our whistle down inside there. And I suppose if you really needed to, you could use this for survival too. You could, um, you could take this knife and put it down on the end of these. Like, check this out. What if I did this? I have a spear. Check that out. I've got a spear right here. So I could take this out and try to catch wild game with it. Protect myself from, you know, moles and squirrels. Those squirrels are vicious, you know. So let me take this apart. Lay it all out here again. I'm not going to take this off. There you have it. Wow. Okay. So I didn't. I didn't really think this thing was going to be all that nice or all that good. I don't. I'm a big metal detectorist. Um, so I'll be posting this on my metal detecting channel. Also, I don't know that I would take this metal detecting with me. Although, you know, if I went on one of those trips where I'm in the U.S. and I got a chance to go over to the U.K. doing some metal detecting. I might take this because this is something that I could put in baggage that I take on the plane and it just takes up this much space. So it would be really easy to fit in versus a full size shovel. And I think this thing would be more than heavy duty enough to do uh, what I need it to do. And it has a lanyard so I could just drag it around with me um, wherever I went also. And your lanyard is, you know, got a short section, probably about 15 inches or so here. 12 to 15 inches of um, your um, your paracord. So you could use that too for emergency situation. I wish I had... Where, you've got room down inside though, so if I really wanted to, I could stuff a wad of paracord down in there and make it a, you know, and um, some matches and things like that. So I've got room to add to this if I really want to. I don't know that I need to. I'm not going to be needing it, but <laughs> uh, put that back over there. Dang, this is nice. So, and um, basically they just gave this to me and said, like I said, check it out. Tell us what you think. If it sucks, let us know it sucks. 
if it's great, tell us it's great. I'm going to say it's great. The only thing I said, like I like I said, it might could use a little pouch for some matches in there uh, and an extra little piece of paracord. That's about it. I mean, maybe a compass. I don't know where you'd stick it. You know, you can't put it there. Stuff like that. But that's it's a shovel. It's not an all-encompassing system. But with the extra room here, I mean, I can see you guys right through that. Where'd you go? There you go. Um, I've got room to put those things in here if I want to. And if I stuff that down in and just leave a piece of um, paracoid hanging out here, all i got to do is pull it right back out. So I could make this whatever I want. Nice. So, um, price-wise, I forget what this was list listed at. It was like $55 or $60, something like that. Uh, and when you go on Amazon, do, don't do do like I did. I, I never remember that there's a thing that says coupon and you can get like five bucks off of that. Um, but look for those. Uh, but you could get this for 60 bucks. And if you need something for camping, you need something for survival situations, uh, this would be great. Winter is about to start in Michigan. And what I'll probably do with this right now is put this in my trunk. Um, and... I've just got this tiny little piece back in the trunk right here that's not taking up much space. But if I get in a situation where, you know, the snow is too heavy and I got to dig myself out, I've got a shovel. If I really get in a bad way, I've got a fire starter right in here. I got a glass break piece. I've got, you know, everything I need for survival along with, you know, maybe the next day is nice. And I'm like, oh, hey, let's go metal detecting. There's an old house over there. Okay, maybe not, but you get the idea. It, it's, it's so, this thing is so versatile. I, I, my mind is racing with all the things I can think of to do with it. So, if they weren't providing it to me to test out and see what I thought, would I spend the 60 bucks on this? Um, yeah, I think I would. This is pretty nice. Matter of fact, I might um, uh, hit these guys up and say, um, can you give me a couple bucks off or something? If not, that's fine. I want to get one of these to put in my daughter's car because uh, next year, not this year, but next year, she's going to be going off to college, and I'd love to have something like this as a, as a survival piece in the trunk of her car. Um, it would just make me feel a lot better knowing it was back there so that if she ever needed it, she'd have it. So check them out. Full lit 38-inch folding shovel, survival camping shovel, multifunctional entrenching tool, Portable military shovel with carrying bag for camping, off-road, car emergency, and outdoor. I think it's a good deal, guys. Go check it out. Get yourself one. And uh, if you do get one, let me know what you think. Um, I think you're going to like it. See you guys later.